Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in and checking out my latest video. Now today's video is going to be talking about a highly anticipated matchup between Noyoa Inoue versus Kohei Kono taking place December 31st. We got Inoue is the young phenom versus the grizzled veteran and Kohei Kono. Now, when I look at this matchup, I'm intrigued at this fight just because of the styles of these two fighters. You got Inoue, who is a very smart fighter, but very aggressive, very fan friendly. And Kohei Kono, while also a very fan friendly fighter, is more of a mover. Um, he's a guy who he kind of he'll back up and he'll move side to side. And he's less aggressive than Inoue is as a fighter. So that's what makes it an interesting fight, just these two styles. And when I look at both of these guys as fighters, let's first start with Kohei Kono and what he brings to the table in this fight. Uh, when I look at Kono in this matchup, this is a guy who he loves to move around the ring. He'll circle around. Um, sometimes when he's fighting on the inside, he will land his combinations and pivot out. And he's a guy who uses a, a vast variety of punches. Uh, so sometimes you'll see him use a left hook to the head. Then you'll see him go to the body. And he's a very hard fighter to plan for uh, defensively because this is a guy who, like I said, will use some of those punches, but then randomly will come out the next round, just start throwing double jabs and uppercuts and punches that he hasn't used throughout the fight. So, like, you never know how to game plan specifically for him because he might just pull out his double jab after not using it for two rounds and give you an issue with that punch. Um... He's a guy who has pretty good footwork, he has good hand speed, and he's never been stopped in his career. So extremely tough fighter, he's got a very good chin, he's durable. Um, so very, very well-rounded guy, experienced guy, and I believe he's going to be one of Inouye's uh, toughest fights so far of his career. Now when I look at Inouye as a fighter, this is a guy who has very good balance, he gives you footwork, he's got that aggressive style, um, one of the very best Body punchers in the sport. His left hook to the body is, I believe, his best weapon to the body. Vicious shot. He's a guy who has power in both hands. He will use his jab as well as a range finder. Extremely good ring IQ. Um, you can even see him counter punch at times. He'll step back and hit somebody with a left hook. Um, he does everything very, very well. It's extremely impressive for a guy with such limited pro experience to be able to do the things he does to uh, very good fighters, you know, like he does. It, it's an incredible fighter this guy is, um, really does it all. Um, so what I'm looking for in this fight, some keys to the fight for both of these guys. For Inouye, uh, I believe he's got to back up Kohei Kono on the ropes, uh, because Inouye, if you've ever seen him fight, he unleashes those flurry of punches because he also has good hand speed when his opponent is on the ropes. Uh, usually nine times out of ten, he lands combinations and his opponent goes down on the ground. And I think also for any way in this fight, he needs to attack the body early. Um, if you've seen previous fights of Kohei Kono, for example, his fight with Conception, Conception had a lot of early success and throughout the fight success on Kohei Kono hitting him in the body. I would say that's one of Kono's biggest weaknesses as a fighter. He's very susceptible to body shots and against a puncher like uh, anyway, that is the worst case scenario for him as a fighter. So he's really got to be aware of that throughout this fight and, and be on his toes the whole fight. Now, another thing for Kohei Kono, I believe a key to this fight is like I was saying earlier about his movement. He's going to have to be moving and be in the best shape of his life to beat Anui. Um, he's going to have to move throughout this fight, uh, constantly. He cannot be stationary at any point in this matchup. Um, that's going to be his downfall. Uh, very hard to do, especially, like I said, because anyway, it goes to the body, but that's something that Kohei Kono is going to have to do. And then another strategy for uh, Kono would be use that unpredictability that he has and uh, keep him guessing what you're going to do offensively. So maybe he second guesses walking in on you uh, if you're throwing different punches from angles he can't see or he's not expecting you to throw those punches. Um, it's the unpredictability, I think, that gives Kono uh, some success in this matchup. Now, ultimately, guys, my winner in this fight is going to be anyway. And the reason why I'm picking him in this matchup is because Kono is too susceptible to body shots. Anyway is extremely great at body shots. Uh, it's going to be an issue. It's going to cause 
uh, Kono to stop his movement at some points of the fight because of the body work that Inoue is going to put in in this matchup. Also, another thing is when you watch Kono fight, at times he believes in his defense, which is a great thing, but he will have his guard up blocking shots for too long instead of firing back punches. And well, in a way, he will just unleash, you know, 10 punches, 15 punches, a flurry of punches. And he's very accurate with those punches. And that's where Kono has got to move or throw something back. And at times, he's too reluctant to do that. Another downfall for him in this matchup against Inoue. Um, this is going to be an outstanding fight. But those are two reasons right there. Um, also, I'm going to take that. In a way, is the fresher fighter of both of these guys. Um, one gentleman is in his late 30s. The other one's a young phenom coming up. Um, but this is going to be a type of fight that I think Inouye at times will have some issues with. Um, a tricky opponent. But this is a type of guy he needs to elevate himself um, and gain very valuable experience. So those are some reasons why I'm going to pick Inouye. Late stoppage in this fight, I think he's going to stop Kono for the first time in his career and really make a statement. I've already been making statements in his career, but this is just another one to add on the resume. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think on the fight, who you guys got, and yeah, let me know what you guys think of Anyway as a fighter or both of these guys. Have you seen both of them fight? I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Once again, guys, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Once again, thank you.